Let's move on to our top story. Let's talk about South Africa, my home country and place where I have many outstanding warrants. <laughs> Yesterday, South Africa held its presidential election. And I know you guys think that we elect our leaders by holding them over the edge of a cliff, all right? <laughs> but that's... that's just for the primaries. In the general election, we do it normally, just like you. Ballot boxes, polling places, and even people on the news trying to predict the results before the votes come in. We've seen quite a number of opinion polls make predictions. We thought uh, tonight uh, we would uh, invite a traditional healer, Gorgon Toleng. What are you seeing about uh, this election? Let me just ask the ancestors. As I ask the ancestors and I look into my calabash, the ANC will be the ruling party again. And it will be 60.7%. Wow. The ancestors are really specific. 60.7%. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if it turned out she just had an iPhone inside that calabash? She's just like, uh... The result is... Sorry, the ancestors' Wi-Fi is really slow. Hold on, hold on. And before you try and judge Africans for using which doctors to predict election results, I would argue they're just as reliable as anyone on CNN. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're just like, judging by the yard signs, my gut tells me Hillary's gonna win by a landslide. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> I will say this. Can you imagine being one of the ancestors and getting a question like this? <laughs> no, think about it. You're like a village chief who died 600 years ago waiting to provide guidance about the mysteries of life. And then you get a question like, who's gonna win the election? <laughs> I bet you the ancestors are like, what? How dare you waste my time with this? Throw it away. Oh, good, another question. What? Will there be another sex in the city? God damn it! <laughs> of course there won't be. Carrie and Big found true love. 